Hey guys, this is Bharadwaj with Phonorena.com and you're watching the video review of the Zolo Q2000. Zolo's latest large screen smartphone with a 5.5 inch HD display. After launching the Q1000 and the Q1000S with 5 inch HD displays, the Q2000 looks large with a huge screen. The phone's design is completely different from earlier Zolo smartphones. It has a tiny chin that protrudes out of the bottom of the phone similar to the Oppo Find 5. There is a 5.5 inch display with a resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels at 267 ppi. The display is bright but it is too glossy for outdoor usage since the screen is highly reflective. Also since it is glossy it is prone to fingerprints but offers vibrant colors and has decent viewing angles. It features a 2 megapixel front facing camera that is capable of recording videos at VGA 640 by 480 pixel resolution. Next to the cameras are the usual set of proximity and ambient light sensors. There are the usual set of capacitive touch buttons for menu, home and back below the display. These are backlit and offer haptic feedback. It also comes with a free protective flip cover that has a smooth finish on the outside and the soft surface on the inside protects the screen. Both the back cover and the flip cover have a smooth matte finish on the back that gives the device a premium feel. Once you remove the back cover, you notice that it is actually made of flexible plastic. The phone is 9.8 mm thin, much thicker than the Q1000S and weighs 180 grams even though this doesn't have a metal build. This makes the device big and bulky for some users. Even though the phone has matte finish on the back, the sides have a glossy plastic build making it a fingerprint magnet. On the left side you have the volume rockers and on the right side there is a power button. Over at the back there is a 13 megapixel camera. The camera UI is similar to most of the phones from the Indian OEMs with the navigation bar on the left pane that lets you change the different camera modes. HDR and macro shots came out pretty well and the LED flash was decent. Even though it packs a BSI2 sensor for better low light imaging, the actual low light images were just average. The phone can record videos at 1080p full HD resolution. Videos look decent but it could be better with more details. Also, since the phone lacks a secondary microphone, the audio will not be crisp and it was a bit choppy. You can see a little bulge around the camera due to the presence of the large camera module. There is a shiny flat plastic around the camera which actually comes with the back cover. This is not present on the flip cover and since the lens has a tiny chrome ring around it, the camera doesn't get scratched when you place it on a flat surface. Also present on the back is a large loudspeaker grill at the bottom. And finally over at the top, the micro USB slot and the 3.5mm audio jack are present. Coming to the software part, the phone runs on Android 4.2.1 Cherry Bean, so you get a lot of features such as lock screen widgets, quick settings, photo filters and lot more. Out of the 1GB of RAM, you get 971MB of usable RAM and out of 8GB of internal storage, you get 5.44GB of user available storage and 0.98GB for apps. You can also move apps from the internal memory to the SD card once you insert one. You can also set the SD card as the default write disk. The phone comes with quite a few pre-installed apps such as calculator, file manager and a lot of other utilities. It also has the usual Google apps and also has the Zolo specific apps such as Zolo Secure and Zolo Power developed by the company. The music player is stock which lets you play several audio formats and the phone has the FM radio with auto search and recording. Audio from the loudspeaker is quite good but audio gets suppressed when you place it on a flat surface. Bundled in-ear earphones also sound good. It can play videos at 1080p full HD resolution like it can record and they do look great on the large screen. Among all the connectivity options, the device also comes with USB OTG support. You also get a free USB OTG cable in the box to connect pen drives or portable drives to directly consume content from them. The phone is powered by a 1.2 GHz quad-core MediaTek MT6589 processor with PowerVR SGX544 GPU. The performance was good without any lags and the phone also supports the PS3 controller via USB OTG. So we tried a lot of games using that controller, some high-end games such as Dead Trigger 2 and Shadow Gun. They did lag some details and suffered from occasional frame drops. The Reni 600 mAh lithium polymer battery, larger than all the flagship phones from Zolo, offers 24 hours of mixed use. It will even last the whole day with heavy use. You can also use the Zolo power app to improve the battery life but overall we found the battery life to be pretty awesome. 
At a market price of Rs 13,499, the Zolo Q2000 is definitely one of the best large screen phones in the Indian market. Even though the build quality is not impressive and the phone has a glossy screen, it is pretty good for the price and the memory card slot is a big plus. If you are looking for a large screen device that is not too big as a tablet, go for it. Listed here are the pros and cons of this device. And that's about it for our video review. Do check out our full review in depth for the text and images. The links are in the description below that will take you to our blog. Also we hope you enjoyed this video. Do hit the like button if you did and subscribe to our channel for more videos like these. Thanks for watching and let us know what you think in the comment section below.